When you're here, there's no doubt about it. You are in a special place. If you think you've seen it all, think again. Even better, don't think at all. Just stand there and take it all in, as much as you can, because there is little to compare with the vastness and the splendid views of the mountains and sky. This is the Great Smoky Mountains National Park straddling the border between Tennessee and Western North Carolina. It covers approximately 522,000 acres or 816 square miles. That's 2,114 kilometers. It's not the largest national park in the United States, but it's the largest protected area in the Eastern United States and the most visited of all the country's national parks with 12 and a half million visitors coming each year due to its close proximity to the population centers of America's East Coast. This is Klingman's Dome, the highest point in the park at 6,643 feet or 2,025 meters above sea level. It's the jewel in the crown. A seven mile access road leads to the summit. The road opens April 1st and closes on November 30th for the winter season. The view from the parking lot is excellent, but if you want the full panoramic effect, there's a half mile paved walkway leading to a 45 foot tall observation tower at the actual summit. It's moderately strenuous, but there are places to stop and catch your breath along the way. Pets are allowed in the parking area, but dogs are not permitted on the paved path at the top. Fortunately, there's no mention about chicken, so Dave Cox from Destin, Florida was able to bring his pet chicken, Sammy, to the top. The pair travel everywhere. Sammy's been to Times Square and many other places, and now Klingman's Dome is off her bucket list. On a clear day, you can see for up to 100 miles, but clear days up here are sometimes rare. Conditions change quickly. One minute, it's bright and sunny. The next, it's totally obscured by clouds that envelop the tower. If you're lucky, they'll pass over and the forest will reappear. The temperatures don't get much higher than the low 60s and can easily get down in the 30s or 40s. Check your gas, bring snacks and drinks, and a sweatshirt. There's no cost for admission, and there are restrooms in the parking area. The highest section of the Appalachian Trail runs along the tower. The AT covers 2,190 miles from North Georgia to Maine. Klingman's Dome is 199 miles from the start of the trail and takes about 12 to 14 days to reach. The mountain is named for Civil War General Thomas Klingman. He'd explored the area in the 1850s and was convinced it was the highest peak in the region. But University of North Carolina professor Elijah Mitchell had other ideas. He proved that the mountain that now bears his name, Mount Mitchell, in the nearby Pisgah National Forest is 39 feet or 12 meters higher. Unfortunately, he died in the process and is buried at the summit of his mountain. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park opened to the public in 1939 and is listed in the National Registry of Historic Places. The Cherokee Indians believed the dome was the home of the great white bear, the chief of all bears. Visiting a place like Klingman's Dome proves that travel is one of the few things we can buy that will make us richer.